you're here early. No, that's no problem at all. Would you like to come sit over here with me on this side? We could get really close. No? Well, I mean, you can leave your chair way over there. I don't mind. If you want to come over here with me, we can, I can scoot over and make room and we can get together close and we can look at the monitor. Yeah, I'm on Amazon right now. Don't tell anybody. I'm using the work computer to order some things. <laughs> I ordered some rope. Here, you want to see? I ordered some rope and some, some lime and a shovel. Yeah, I'm planning a little get-together this weekend. I just needed some supplies. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Can I touch your skirt? No? Okay. Well, I, I thank you for coming in. I appreciate you, uh, you know, coming in on your on your lunch break. I know it's, it's a real pain. I'm fasting. Yeah, have you heard of that? It's this thing that nobody's ever done before. It's this new thing that people are doing. I'm fasting, and that doesn't mean like I'm, I'm a quick person because I'm not. I'm actually kind of slow. You know, even when I run, it's, it's very, it's very hard to watch, but I, it means that I don't eat. Okay, I don't eat. I keep a bottle of water here, but I don't drink it. It's my resistance water, and I just look at it and think how hungry I am. You can put your plate right here on my desk. I promise it won't bother anything. What do you got there? Mmm, that's some good looking food you got there. Mmm. You gonna eat some? Can I watch? You gonna eat that? Boy, that's really nice. Mmm. I bet a mouthful of that would be really good. But you go on and enjoy it. Don't worry about me. We're gonna just go through and update your information in the computer. You know, we're doing that for all the staff. Individuals like yourself, we're gonna go through here. And we're gonna make sure that everything we have is up to date 100% for you. You have the most beautiful eyes. Did anybody ever told you that? They look like salamanders swimming in one of those little kiddie pools that you get at Kmart. It's beautiful, beautiful. Okay, well let me get off of Amazon first. Let me send my order just a minute. Oh, oh, I don't want to do one click ordering. Uh uh. And there we go. My weekend plans are set. What are you doing this weekend? Are you busy this weekend? You know, maybe you could come over and we could play some Uno or Scrabble. Do you know how to play games? We could play a game. I'm a lot of fun at parties. Unless I break out in a rash. Then I have to go home. <laughs> anyway, enough chit chat. I know this is your time. I don't want to interfere. Let me just get this out of your way. Now you put that big beautiful plate right next to my keyboard. I'm going to touch that. You don't mind, do you? What is that, macaroni and cheese? Oh, it's warm. Yeah. That's nice cheese sauce. Did you make that? It's a mix? Really? Boy, you wouldn't guess it, would you? Try that. You don't want it? Can I have it? I'm fasting. No, I'm not supposed to eat. I'm going to look at my resistance water. It just keeps my balance. Well, it just keeps my balance. Okay, now, sweetheart, you and I have known each other for a long time, haven't we? It's been what? It's been at least a month. I know this is the first time you've ever had to do this, and you probably haven't talked to any of the other staff people about how this goes. You have. Oh, so what, what did they say? 
Oh yeah, we're gonna absolutely we're gonna update we're gonna update your information. See, I'm looking at the screen. You know, this would be a lot easier if you just come over here and sit next to me. I can scoot over. We could use the same chair. I mean, I think we could both fit on here if we just squeeze in and we could look at the monitor together. Oh, well, all right, well, I'll just explain it to you now. I have a list of questions that I have to ask. Did they tell you in detail what we're going to talk about? Good, good, they didn't. Good, very good. Well, well, sometimes, you know, you get inaccurate information and, you know, I, I, I find you to be very special. I think you are a, a, an exceptional employee, even though we've never worked together, you know. Sometimes I'll see your feet under the stall in the bathroom and I think that's a special lady right there. That, you know, even if I just see your ankles, I am aware of how really, really special you are. You have nice ankles. I mean, they're just... How do you work out? Is there a Nautilus machine that you use for that? How do you get them so shapely? Like, can I touch them? I'm a very, I'm a very tactile person. I mean, I like to touch things. That's how I explore the world, my world around me. That's what I do. I, I, I touch everything. I hope you don't mind. Okay, well, I'm sorry. You're right. We better, we better just get on with it. Okay, will you, you enjoy some of that. Is that pot roast? Ooh. Oh, it's tender, isn't it? Look, my finger just goes right into it. I can just push down. Mmm, that's a nice au jus. It's got just the right amount of salt. You know, most people oversalt it. Did you make this? You did? Can you cook different types of meat like that? Are you good? Are you good with meat? Okay. Well, I'm just, I, I, I just file that away. Okay, so I, it never comes up. You know, sometimes I need to know people's special skills depending on what we're doing around here. We have different, you know, bonding exercises and sometimes we go away for the weekend. You know, I, I have a nice van. I have this really nice panel van, very comfortable, very dependable. Maybe sometime we could go away together. Yeah, we could take my van. We could go to the woods. You want to do that? We could do that. How about this weekend? We could go in the van. You could come to my place. Oh, you're busy. Well, yeah, they're always busy, of course. Well, I get ahead of myself. I get ahead of myself. I do apologize. Are you staring at my shirt? You, you don't need to be staring at my sweater. No, this is a very special sweater. You can't have it. I don't know what's going through your mind, but the only way you can have this sweater, I know what I would do. I will let you have it if you come home with me and we try on clothes together. We could, I didn't say you said you wanted it, but I could tell by looking in your salamander pools there that you want this sweater. I see it on your face. I'm very perceptive. If you come to my house, Maybe we could have a slumber party. I have a nice basement. We could do it down there. Yeah, we could lock the door. It'd just be the two of us. Yeah, just, no. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, well, fine. Let me, well, let me get to the screen. It's all business. I understand it's your lunch hour. You don't want to be messing with me. Just a minute. Sometimes I, I forget myself and, and I start thinking that I'm a human being that people might actually want to talk to and, and then I have to snap back to reality and realize that it's just not the case. Even with you, I mean, you seem very open and warm and then you, you come into my office and you don't even want to sit next to me. I hope I wasn't wrong about you, but I'm starting to wonder... All right, now we're just going to go through this list here while you enjoy that just absolutely beautiful food right in front of me, making me smell it as it sits here on my desk. You know, I don't mean to 
be, you know, I don't mean to say this, but I think it's kind of rude of you to put it there. Right. And I just, I, I don't believe I did. I believe you just marched in here with your beautiful food and you just sat down knowing I was fasting. Everybody knows. I know Karen told you, and if she didn't, the other Karen told you. And if Karen and Karen didn't tell you, then the three Kathys definitely would have mentioned it. I'm here to do my job. That's all I'm going to worry about. Now let's, let's just go through this list of questions, and then we're going to have to take a picture. Okay, I need a headshot. I'm really good at headshots. I have tremendous aim when it comes to that. I'm going, I'm going to do that with you. I'm going to take your headshot. We're going to do that after we get done with the questions. Are you ready for that? Make sure you don't have any, you know, pot roast in your teeth. I can pick it out if you do. I mean, I can see it and then I can get it for you a lot easier than you could try to get it. Like if I try to point, you know, you try to point to something in somebody's teeth and they're way off over here somewhere because they don't know how teeth are. You bet. Let me just get it. Like, I could take my stapler and just dig it out. It wouldn't be the first time. One time we were having this luncheon, and the director, he got some, uh, yeah, he had some collard greens in there, and I just, I just yoinked it right out. I got a promotion that day. He said he was scared of me. <laughs> It's a very funny incident. It didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. Okay, now, I'm going to get down to business here. Now, I need to know your full name. Well, no, I'm, I'm looking at a name here, but I don't have your middle name. What is your middle name? I wouldn't have guessed that. Now, what's your first name? Yep, last name. Okay. And I also need your address. Mm -mm, not a post office box. No, no, no. I noticed somebody put a post office box in here. That won't work. I need a physical address. I need to know, like, say, say I was driving around town. You know, I go to a lot of yard sales. Um, and, uh, and, and maybe you're driving around on a Saturday and, and I happen to be in your neighborhood. See, I could just, I could just stop by, say, hey, if I don't have your street address, I can't do that. I mean, you gotta work with me here. I, I don't feel like going to visit a post office box. Chances are you're not gonna be there. So, yeah, I need your physical, I need your physical address. I need it to be very specific. If you have the latitude and the longitude, that would help too. Cause sometimes when I get near my phone, the GPS gets all fuzzy. I think it's brain waves. I'm not sure. But if you had latitude and longitude, you know, you can't even give me like a ballpark guess. Well, you might need to know that. That's one of those things people need to know. I'm going to take out this post office box. Now, I want your, I want to know where you are. And if it's an apartment, I need to know the apartment number. I mean, otherwise, if, say, we had to get in touch with you, say, the, I don't know, the building burned down and we had to come find you and, and all your phone numbers weren't working. I don't want to go banging on every door in the apartment complex. If do you live in an apartment, you don't. Well, what do you, where do you, what do you, where do you live? In a house? Oh, well, that narrows it down. What's your street address? I wouldn't share this with anybody, trust me. If you give me this information, I will take that as a sign that you trust me 100% and we are like buddies and I would never, I would just zip it just like a vault. I am not going to share it with a soul because I don't want anybody else trying to find you. It's the crazy people out there. It is what now? Is that an F? Mm hmm and what city? State. And what's your zip code? Do you know that little four digit hangy on thing on the end of there? That's good. Most people don't know that. Now, what about your home phone number? Like, say, you know, I was awake at 3 a.m. And, and I didn't have anybody to talk to because 
a lot of times at night my cats just they sleep they snore and I don't have anybody to talk to it sure would be good to have somebody I could call not that I would bother you I mean not much anyway not not anymore two or three times a week what's your own phone number again you don't have a home phone well, that's dangerous you know that you, you know you that can get you killed if you don't have a home phone well think about it what, what what, what if there's an EMP? Your phone's not going to work. Who are you going to call? How are you going to call anybody? You need to get a home phone put in. Do you want me to call somebody about that? I can make an appointment for you. Well, I'm just saying you need to get right on that. So you don't have one, you're saying. Well, i got to put something in that field. I'm going to just put zeros. I think you're lying, though. All right, now what about your cell phone? Now, I know you have a cell phone. I see you messing with it all the time. And what is, I don't have a cell phone number for you either because you're a pretty new employee and whoever put this information in clearly did not do the investigative work I'm having to do. So, how could I reach you? Like if I wanted to call you, say I was out shopping and I found, I, I don't know, like a, a, a taxidermy raccoon and I thought you might like to have it as a centerpiece for your table how can I reach you now I wouldn't do that it's a hypothetical don't you understand the difference between a hy hypothesis and reality this is hypothesis if I found a taxidermy raccoon I probably wouldn't share it with anybody I might share it with you if you if you could smile at me occasionally and maybe have me over for dinner sometime depending on what your centerpiece looks like because some people's centerpieces are just sad and everybody needs to spruce it up a little bit Ta taxidermy raccoon is perfect for that very thing it fixes everything so your number is what now? hang on okay mm-hmm I'm going to write that down in my notebook. Well, that way, if anything happens to it, I won't lose it. Now, what is your date of birth? I won't tell anybody. And you don't look old or anything. You look surprisingly good for your age. You have reached that age, though, where you have to add those words at the end of you look good. You look good for your age. You're well preserved. You haven't even hit the wall yet. I mean, it's, you probably got at least another good five years before, you know, bam, then we hit that wall. Hey, it happens to all of us. Might happen to me one day. <laughs> now, is that, what, what month is that? What is your sign? I need to know that. I don't believe you. Mm -mm. No, that month is wrong. There's no way that's your sign. That doesn't fit you at all. What is your real birthday? Mm -mm. I'm going to have to look up your birth certificate. I don't believe that. Yeah, well, that's, that's okay. I have access to stuff. Okay, now, let's say you're laying bleeding in a ditch. Let's say somebody hits you with a shovel and you fell down a ravine. Who would we call in case of an emergency for you? Who is your emergency contact? Do you have one? Now, who is this individual? So, what's he to you? Is he like your significant other, a friend, friend with benefits? I don't judge people. Okay, but what is he to you exactly? I mean, I'm... I need to know these things. I need to know as the HR person, I need to know who you have in your life. Who's close to you? He's your boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Well, boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend. She. Mm -mm. No. You know he's going to cheat on you, right? 
He probably already has. He's probably cheating on you right now. Have you thought about that as you sit there and eat your food? You haven't even touched your food except your applesauce. It's runny. It's good though, but it's runny. No, I don't want it. Well, what do you mean you don't want it? You just brought it in here to mess with me. You weren't even going to eat it, were you? But while you're sitting here not eating this delicious meal that is now in front of me, he could be out there doing something right now. You ever think about that? You don't know. Why don't you just break up with him? You'd have a lot more free time. You know, I have a lot of free time. Maybe we could get together and not have free time together sometime. I'm really good at checkers. You ever play checkers? I'd let you win at least twice. If you come to my place, we could play it down in the basement. I have good lighting down there. We could do each other's makeup and hair. Well, think about it. So, but for now, this poser is your emergency contact. You say, well, what is the loser's number? I have to put it in here. I don't want to. Okay. Nobody named Donovan ever turns out well. I'm just saying. Cheaty, cheat, cheat, cheat. And when you find out, don't say I didn't warn you. All right. Um, what is your blood type? Other than red and juicy and probably pretty good. It does matter what your blood type is. Sometimes we need to know these things. I mean, what if you just bleed out at your desk for no particular reason? We're going to need to know. O positive. I'm just making some notes here. These are um, my personal files. Of course, I keep them totally confidential. Now, are you a donor? Are you an organ donor? Have you ever thought about it? Do you have the little heart on your driver's license? I can check for myself and see. Maybe I already have. You are an or organ donor. Very good. I think it's good to share one's organs. Because one day you're not going to need them anymore. Who knows when that day's going to be. Could be today. When somebody else can have them. Right? Now, how do you feel about cremation? You okay with it? Or does it give you the willies? Personally, to me, the thought of being buried in a box gives me the willies. I mean, what if you're alive down there? You don't have an opinion about cremation? You're starting to seem a little wishy-washy to me. It's a little concerning. Um, okay. Can you carry a tune? Or can you sing? Can you match pitch with other people? Or are you just really pathetic? It's very important. See, that's what a lot of people don't understand. We need a well-rounded look at our employees. Um, stand up for a minute. Stand, no, I'm serious. Stand up. Turn around. Slowly. Hmm. Okay, sit down. Sit down. I have the perfect dress for you. I do. I have the perfect dress. I think you should come to my house tonight. If you want, I can write my address down here. Let me get a little piece of paper. I'm going to write, no, I'm going to write down my address for you right here. And I want you to take this, okay? Here's my address. You take that. Take it. Put it, put it in your pocket. And, and we'll get together tonight. I have, I have a dress that would look so nice on you. Yeah. It's not really for me. It's not my type, but it would look nice on you. I want you to come to my house tonight. Come down in the basement. I'll show it to you. I have a big closet down there, and there are lots of things that you might like hanging up down there. I have lots of things hanging down there. You should come see. We'll think it over, but don't think about it too long because, you know, both of the Karens are very interested in, in my wardrobe and, and they've expressed a tremendous amount of interest in coming to see it and they might come see it and decide they want it. 
It's kind of first come, first serve. Okay, fine. Next question. Um, how often do you cry yourself to sleep? You don't? I'll just wait till Donovan comes clean. That's going to change your tune on that. All right, so your marital status we've discussed. Um, you're just whoring around. You're not actually married, right? Well, however you want to say it, okay? You're um, dating or whatever, okay? Whore. Write that down. Whore. Okay, what about your BFF status? That's very important around here. You know, we, we are all about community. We are all about um, getting along, you know, social cohesion. So what is your BFF status? Do you have one? You do? Donovan is your BFF? Oh, honey, your whole world's about to come crashing down. Bless your heart. Your boyfriend is your BFF? Honey, honey, what did we just discuss? Okay, look, I, you know what? I'm just going to go into your contacts right now. We're just going to take him out. And I'm going to put my I'm going to put my name in there, okay? And I'm going to put my number, and take his number out. There. That's going to save you a lot of heartache in the future. Now, can you imagine the crushing blow that you're going to get? I don't know how it's going to happen. You may come home one day and he's there with somebody, or you may see him out somewhere with some floozy, stupid loser woman. And then you're going to have to, number one, deal with that blow. And then number two, you're going to go, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to go talk to HR and change my emergency contact. You know, that's like a double whammy. I'm saving you that second punch right there. So you're not going to have to deal with that because you'll, ha you'll always have me. I mean, you're going to have me even long after they fired you from this place. <laughs> no, I don't mean fire. I mean, not that I know anything. Not that I'm aware of any layoffs or anything, um, but I'm just saying, you know, this, you can consider me, you can, you can consider me a part of your life forever. <clears throat> I'm going to be there for you for the rest of your life, no matter how long it is, whether it's another 50 years or two days or whatever it is, I'm going to be there with you until the absolute very bitter end of your existence. You can count on me. I will be there for you when you take your last breath on this earth. So help me, God. I will be there. Yeah. So it just makes sense that I'm your emergency contact because I have a feeling if you ever have an emergency, I'm going to need to know about it. In fact, I may already know about it, but that's irrelevant. <clears throat> okay. I have more questions. We're not done. What's the last dream you can remember? Like a vivid dream. You don't remember your dreams? Oh my goodness. I had a dream last night. It's so crazy. I had this dream where I was a toadstool. You know, like a little mushroom. I was a toadstool and I was ice skating with the Disney characters. You know, the Disney on ice like Donald Duck and them, you know. He's not wearing any pants and Actually, he doesn't wear pants anyway, but he's just out there, you know, with his little butt flapping, you know, and, and we're, we're spinning around on the ice, and it was actually kind of beautiful. I, I got a little choked up. It was, it was joyful. <laughs> you ever have dreams like that? So, no imagination. Okay, let me put that down. No imagination. These go into my personal files. They're confidential. Now, do you have any hang-ups with respect to taxidermy? Like massive amounts of taxidermy things. Body parts, animals, roadkill, remains. Do you have any res reservations or, you know, bugaboos about that kind of thing? Like, if you were to say, you know, go to somebody's house and, you know, their living room was full of, you know, like, it looked like Cinderella's world, only everything was stuffed. You know, there are birds everywhere and squirrels and all the little woodland creatures. Would that bother you? 
Okay, what if the furniture was made of taxidermy things? Would that bother you? Because you can totally sit on it. I mean, it'll hold a significant amount of weight. Not that that's a problem. I'm not saying it is. But say say we both wanted to sit on my little love seat together and just spend some quality time together. Would that bother you? If, you know, like the armrest was like a bunch of squirrels that I found on the highway, would that it's hypothetical. Again, you take everything so literally. I'm just asking you, would it bother you? It would. Well, we'll have to work on that one. Okay. Um, are you a contortionist? Like, can you twist your body into weird shapes? Like, say someone had you chained to a chair. Would you be able to twist and turn and get yourself out of that, maybe? Like, can you take your shoulders out of joint and stuff? Can you do that weird thing, you know? No? Excellent. I mean, you know, that just means you're normal. Not that that's a benefit in any way. Okay, do you know how to change a tire? Are you good with a tire iron? Like, can you take it and swing it around like a medieval instrument of, you know, torture or self-defense? Or can you do that? They may seem like odd questions, but see, each one is a piece of a puzzle that we look at to really put together who you are. We're just trying to figure out who you are. It's, it's all part of the process. You just have to go with it. All right. Now, this, this question has multiple parts. I need you to pay attention to these parts. I'm going to need an answer to each one. All right. Since you started work here, now I know it's only been almost a month, but I have to ask. Have you acquired any additional training in any of the following? Now, they have you, I need an answer for each of these. Untying knots. No. Good. Um, digging your way out of a deep, deep hole. No. Yelling for help. No. Uh, do you know how to yodel? No. Uh, have you acquired any additional training in uh, batting away rags that may be soaked in different liquids? No. Very nice. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Uh, do you have any relatives nearby? Like, do you have any family around here? Like, close relatives? No. How far away is your family? Really? Really? 500 miles away? And do they ever come here to visit? No. <gasps> okay. Uh, do they keep tabs on you? Like, do they call and check on you? Or, you know, do they get worried if they don't hear from you? Not really. I'll take that. I'll take that. That, that works. Okay. Uh, would you say... We're getting to the end now. Would you say that you, would you refer to yourself as a popular person? Like, do you think a lot of people in this town know you or would notice if they didn't see you every day? Or, you know, I notice you don't really talk to a lot of people here at work. I mean, I know you're new and all, but I've noticed you don't really talk to them much. So, um, you know, would, would you say that you're popular? No. Okay. Um, do you do you know of anybody who would miss you, except for that that butthole Donovan, which we're gonna boot anyway. I mean, like I wouldn't even count him. He's like a non-issue at this point, because you know he's out doing something right now, right? You know that. You know he is. You know he is. I mean, listen to his name, Donovan. That just screams man whore. I mean, do you have anybody else other than that non-person? Not really. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, can I get a detailed description of this Donovan? Like, um, oh, I don't just just basic stuff like um, his exact address, license plate number. Um, also need his blood type, height, weight. Um, any distinguishing characteristics like a tattoo or a birthmark. Oh, I understand. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. I, I'm certainly, I certainly would not want to do that now. Okay, um, now 
I want you to look at the monitor over here and I want you to look at that and tell me if all that looks right to you. Good. So I have your certification that everything is good. Okay. All right, wonderful. Well, I'll tell you what. You take that plate of food away from me. You can stop torturing me with it now and um, go put it up. And then I'm going to meet you right out in the hallway. There's a narrow hallway. Okay, you go down the hall, make a left. There's going to be a narrow hallway. And the lighting there is perfect. I can take your picture there. Unless, you're, unless you have an issue with that, then... If you do, you know what? We could go to my house. We could get in my van. We could go in my van real quick down to my house, get in the basement. I have even better lighting in the basement. I could take you down there, take your picture there. If you want to do that, <clears throat> I think we should do that. I think we should definitely go into my basement and that because I take really good pictures down there. I have taken so many good pictures. In fact, I have an album of pictures that I've taken in my basement. I could show you that. If you wanna if you wanna come look, it's down in the basement. We could look at it. Oh, the hall is fine. Oh, well, okay. Well, I, I will be out there in just a minute. You take that food away. Go meet me in the hall. You wait there, okay? And um, and, and we'll we'll get your picture, okay? And then and then I'll I'll let you I'll let you uh, get back to work for now, okay? All right. All right, you're here. Wow, you look even nicer when you stand up. I love your posture. How do you stand so straight all the time? It's beautiful the way you stand. Okay, now, I'm, I'm going to take your picture. This is my phone. See, well, yeah, I, I know there are better ways to do it, but I thought maybe it would look better if I used my phone. It's what now? It's upside it's upside down. So, shut up. Maybe I'm being artistic. You don't know. Maybe I did it on purpose. If I hold my phone upside down, why do you care? I'm sorry. I don't mean to get upset. I'm sorry. It's fasting. It's getting to me. And then you wave that food in my face. And you just, you've made me grouchy. Okay. Does that make you happy? That better? Okay. All right. Now. Yo, you know it'd be nice instead of a headshot. What if we did just like a little movie? What if, what if you just, if I just get it going here and, and you just dance slowly for me, like to to no music. You could just dance and twirl around, and I could get it all on here, and we could make like a little slow motion movie out of it. We could do it in black and white and make it all pretty. Oh, the website, the, the company website. Right, right. Exactly. That wouldn't work. You're right. That, that's silly. I can't. I'm sorry. What was I thinking? No. You know what? Why don't you just do it anyway? And I'll just go ahead and get it on here. And, and then maybe later, you know, we can use it like in the, the, little, the little video we put together at Christmas time. Or we could put it in like for a laugh or something. Or I could just keep it on my phone for whatever. You know, if you ever want to see it, I could pull it up and show you or put it on the internet and share it or watch it myself after I go to bed tonight or... No. Well, fine. I guess you just need to stand stand up next to the wall. We'll just do this normal like a mug shot. Honey, you look like you want to run away from here. You don't even look like you want to be here. Can I see a smile? I'm touching your lips. You have the softest lips I have ever seen in my life. They taste like strawberries. That's interesting. You don't have on any anything. Well, I could swear that you did. Hmm. I guess you're just sweet all around then. All right. I'm sorry. I know you got to get back to work. Absolutely. Don't let me hold you up. Just a minute. My Amazon order just shipped. Yes. It's going to be a great weekend. You need to come over. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. 
Well, you, you kick Donovan to the curb because he sucks anyway, and you come hang out with me, and we'll have a really good time. Yeah. I'll keep you tied up with lots of fun, and we'll, we'll, we'll cook out, and we'll barbecue, and it'll be wonderful. Now, I need you to think of something something to make you smile, because right now, quite frankly, I'm looking at you on here, and you look absolutely terrified. We don't want to see that on the company website. We want to see happy faces. I mean, they even got one out of me. You know what I had to do, though? They told me I wasn't smiling. The director had to come take my picture, and he said that I looked frightening. And so I had to imagine I was punching him in the face. <laughs> but then I took it too far, and I actually did punch him in the face. That's when I got that two-week vacation. Yeah, it was nice, though. I mean, I, I got a lot of crochet work done, and I got a new, uh, I got a taxidermy alligator. I was able to turn him into a coffee table. So I tried to make lemonade out of my lemons, you know, and it was satisfying to punch him. They got a really good picture of me, too. Yeah, it was in the paper. I don't know if you saw it, but it was dual purpose, so they used it on the, the company website, and it made the paper. So, yeah, two in one. Okay. So think about, think about punching Donovan because he sucks. Now that should get a good smile. I know I can smile. I smile so big it pushes my glasses up. <laughs> I have permanent creases in my cheeks from that. Mm -hmm. Well, think of punching somebody because I need a picture. My fast is almost over and I got a bag of marshmallows with my name on it waiting for me in my desk drawer. Now you smile pretty. You have nice lips. I'm going to take a picture of that. Okay, now, now look over there like you're looking at, at your fairy godmother or something. I want to get a nice profile. And the other way? Perfect. Oh, that's not for the website. Um, how would you feel about it if uh, somebody maybe came to your house and presented a paper mache bust of you? Would that be anything that would work for you or no? Well, it's only creepy if it's not done right. You know, maybe somebody could do it and it would be like art and you would want to be their friend and come to their house and go to their basement because they really have a lot of nice stuff down there. You know, I have a whole mini fridge full of Pepsi down there. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's, it's not even like Dr. Thunder or anything. It's like brand name. You should come because it's really good. Well, think about it. I'm going to take these pictures and, uh, and uh, uh, no, I'm not going to keep them. Of course not. I, I'm going to give them to the director to choose for the website. Okay. Well, you go on back to work, and uh, I'll be I'll be seeing you later. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't mind. Don't worry. Yeah. You changed your curtains, but I can still see through the ones you have. So I'll be seeing you later. I'll be seeing you later.